as Patrick Chambers about to be introduced as the new head basketball coach at Penn State. Let's go there live. Okay, a little enthusiasm going there. Yeah, Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Steve Jones. I'd like to welcome, on behalf of the Penn State basketball family, members of the media, our guests, for what is a great day today here at the Bryce Jordan Center because this is the day we introduce as the 12th ever head basketball coach at Penn State, Patrick Chambers. Yeah. That played for the legendary Herb McGee in Philadelphia, where he's the all-time assist leader. And we congratulate Herb, by the way, on his entrance into the Basketball Hall of Fame this year in Springfield. He then rose to be the associate head coach at Villanova for Jay Wright. And when the door opened at Boston University, he took that job. And in two years, he won 42 games at America East Championship and brought BU to the NCAA tournament, where he gave Kansas all they could handle. And so now today, When the door opened at Penn State University, it was finally time to bring Patrick Chambers back home to Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's my distinct honor to introduce you to the president of Penn State University, Dr. Graham Spanier. Dr. Spanier. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. And thanks to all of you for coming this afternoon. What a wonderful turnout. And there is something very exciting going on here today, and I'm certainly pleased to be a part of it. Uh, Tim Curley and others have been involved uh, over the last couple of weeks uh, looking all around the country at potential candidates for this head men's basketball coaching position. And we thought about a lot of different people, and. Uh, during that process, Patrick Chambers uh, emerged early on as someone who we should give very serious consideration to. Uh, I had the opportunity of spending three hours with him in Boston last Thursday. It, it was about the fastest three hours I've ever had in, in my career because uh, it was very exciting. We covered a lot of ground and there was no doubt in my mind at the end of that discussion that he was the right person at the right time in the right place for this job. He is going to bring us a great attitude, exciting basketball, uh, fabulous people skills, wonderful marketing savvy. You are going to see him. You are going to know him. He is going to win a lot of games for us. He's going to produce some great basketball players after bringing fantastic recruits here. He will have the unconditional support of this administration, the university administration, and the athletic administration, and I think a lot of support from all around the, the Penn State community. So with that, let me again thank all of you for, be here, for being here and to express my appreciation to you for believing in us and coming to Penn State, accepting this position, and for being a part of the new era and leading us in the new era of Penn State basketball. Tim. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Spanier. We appreciate your participation and being here and helping us through this whole process. I want to thank all of you for joining us for this very special announcement today to not only welcome our new coach, but to welcome Patrick's wife and children here, and we'll introduce them a little bit later. But I also want to uh, thank and recognize some other people that helped us through this transition uh, the past several weeks. First, uh, I want to take an opportunity to thank our current team members and incoming recruits for their patience and understanding uh, during this transition. Coaching transitions can be challenging, and uh, their support made the process effective and, we believe, very successful. I was very impressed when they expressed their confidence 
that the university would find the very best coach to lead this program. They look forward to the process playing out and to meeting their new head coach. Next, I'd like to thank our assistant, current assistant coaches and our support staff for their guidance during this time period. Kurt Kanaski and Dan Earl are two of the finest coaches that I've been around, and they were nothing but professionals throughout the entire hiring process. I leaned on them for their advice and input, and their outstanding contributions to this program are very much recognized and appreciated. I value their professionalism and their friendship. The basketball support staff of Pam Byron, Wendy Miller, DJ Black, John Salazar, Brad Pantel, Sue Sherburn, Dave Baker, Mitch Stover, Brian Seacrest, Jeff Nelson, Lauren Crispel were most helpful in getting us to this announcement today. We have a great administrative team surrounding the men's basketball program here at the university, and we appreciate all they do to support our team and coaching staff on a daily basis. I do want to thank President Spanier again, Al Horvath, Linda Caldwell, our NCA faculty representative, Cynthia Baldwin, and Steve Garvin, Garvin for their support. All of them had important roles to play throughout the process, and this was truly a, a team effort. I'd also like to, to recognize some of our past tradition and history here at, at Penn State. We have in the audience today, Coach John Eggley's daughter is here, Bonnie Avillian. Where are you, Bonnie? She's here somewhere, right here in the thing. I'd just like to say hello. And we also have our former great head coach, Bruce Parkhill, is here, and I had a chance to talk to Bruce. Right over here, Bruce. Good to have you here. Finally, I want to express my appreciation to Eddie Fogler, our search consultant, uh, and uh, he provided invaluable advice and input every step of the way these past 11 days. Uh, Eddie is a very highly respected in the basketball community and his service was exceptional and I uh, certainly enjoyed his friendship throughout the process. As Graham mentioned, this is a very exciting day in the history of Penn State basketball. We begin a new chapter that I believe will be defined by passion, attitude, energy, confidence, a lot of fun, and most importantly, success with honor. Patrick Chambers brings all of these ingredients to Happy Valley, and we are very confident uh, with the continued support of the university, our Penn State alumni worldwide, the Central Pennsylvania community, and the tremendous Nittany, Na Nittany Nation basketball student organization and our loyal, loyal single season ticket base, this will be the finest chapter in our history. As Graham mentioned, we had the opportunity to visit with Coach Chambers earlier this week. His contagious positive attitude, confidence in the program and the university, and his values, which match our proud athletic history, inspired us to believe he was the perfect fit to coach and to lead our program to greatness. His vision, his passion, and energy will inspire all of us to not only be part of his team, but to help him expand the interest, support, and tradition for Penn State basketball. Coach Chambers has the it factor. He has the full package all great coaches possess. He is a superior recruiter with key contacts and relationships in all the major areas where Penn State needs to find great basketball players. Coach Chambers has recruited McDonald's All-Americans and current NBA players, as well as has found sleepers that, have helped, that he has helped develop into great players. He has NCAA tournament experience, having helped guide teams that reached the NCAA Final Four, Elite Eight, Sweet Sixteens, and has a full appreciation of what it takes to compete at the highest levels. Player development is a priority for Coach Chambers, who has built a history of players maximizing their potential throughout their college careers. He has been mentored by three coaches uh, th uh, in all of basketball, the legendary Herb McGee, 
Dan Doherty, and of course, the great Jay Wright from Villanova. Academic performance, community service, compliance, and student-athlete welfare are the staples of his program. Promoting and supporting the educational mission of the university is a responsibility he believes in and embraces. Patrick has a very strong marketing and sales background, and there will be no one, and let me repeat this, there will be no one better in promoting, marketing, and selling the Penn State basketball program 24-7, 365. Patrick is from Newtown Square, Pennsylvania, and believe it or not, he's the youngest of 12 children. He is accompanied by his immediate and extended family, all located over here. And uh, when I asked him how he was going to increase the attendance here at Penn State, he just pointed to his family and said, right here. <laughs> we welcome Patrick's wonderful <laughs> wife, Courtney, here in the front row. Their two beautiful children, Grace and Ryan, who she uh, is attending to right now, to our Penn State family. I would like all of you here to please join me in giving a warm Penn State welcome to our new men's basketball head coach, Patrick Chambers. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this is an incredible opportunity, obviously. I want to thank President Spanier and, and Director of Athletics Tim Curley for this incredible, incredible uh, dream come true for me, truly. Um, I want to thank the entire Penn State family. Everybody's been so incredibly nice uh, since I've gotten here yesterday to me and my wife and my children. Um, it just feels like home. It feels right. And uh, I feel like we have come home. We're going to anchor in, and hopefully we're going to be here a long time. I got the chance to see, uh, I had a chance to see Coach Paterno today. And, uh, man, I mean, that was a thrill. I almost asked him for his autograph, but I figured I'd wait a couple, <laughs> wait a couple weeks on that. Um, but uh, this administration is committed. Coach Paterno uh, really, you know, said to me, you know, we want, we want to do great things. We want to win. And, and Tim and President Spanier said the same thing. And that's why I wanted to be a part of this, this incredible uh, Penn State family. So I'm excited to get going. It's great to see so many former players and thank the assistants just like Tim had done. And you know, Dan Earl, Joe Crisp and all the guys, BA and Coach Parker and I just talked. I actually was here in Rec Hall back in the early 90s when they had a tough battle, double overtime game versus Indiana. And we all know what happened there. <laughs> but Coach and I were just talking about it. So, Coach, I hope, to, uh, I hope my teams play as, hard as, you, as you, hard as your teams did and with great passion. And I hope to continue that excellence and tradition that you started. Um, again, the former, the former players, uh, the players who just left, just, you know, Coach DeCellis has started something here. And we got to keep building. And, and that's what we're going to do. To my wife, thank you so much. My kids. Uh, my wife is my rock. She's the associate head coach. She's with me no matter what, good and bad times, wins and losses. She's there for me, you know, picking me up, and uh, there's something to be said for that. So thank you. Thank you so much. My extended family, if you could all just stand up just so they know we just increased 50 tickets, if you wouldn't <laughs> mind. They're the Chambers family. Thank you for your support system. Thank you for everything you've taught me 
you've, you've helped me get to this spot today with work ethic, with, with kindness, uh, with relationships. Um, you've taught me about the real world, and I'm going to take all those talents and utilize them here today. I'd be remiss to say it's Ryan's birthday tomorrow. He is one year old tomorrow, yeah. Ryan Patrick. So I want to make sure I say that. I also want to recognize, uh, just real quick, I want to say um, my mom passed away a year and a half ago, and I know, I know she had something to do with this. I just know it. She just wanted us all in the same state, and she wanted us all to be together, and uh, I thank her up in heaven, because I know she's up there to deal with this crew. Um, I want to recognize Jay Wright. Uh, he taught me how to build a program, to run a program, to build a championship program, how to recruit and uh, also how to build relationships, and uh, I owe so much to him. He gave me an opportunity out of high school, one that many people probably wouldn't have given, and he gave me that shot, and he saw something in me, and I will be forever indebted to him. Jay, if you're watching, thank you, my man. I appreciate everything. To Hall of Famer Herbie Gee, uh, I appreciate everything. He, he gave me a scholarship when I really had no place to go. He taught me so many things about basketball, about X's and O's. He was truly a father figure. The legendary Dan Doherty. Taught me about discipline, taught me about loyalty, taught me about hard work with his army background. Uh, you can only imagine the, how many extensions we ran in some of those practices. And of course, my former school, Boston University, Dr. Brown, Joe Mercurio, the director of athletics, Mike Lynch, um, they gave me a chance. They had faith in me, and I was, I'm really appreciative of that. And of course, those players. It's, it's bittersweet sometimes. I love those players, I care about those players, and it was tough to leave them, but I know they're gonna be successful, and I know they're gonna be great men. Nittany Nation, students, alums, fans, it's the only school I know you can go anywhere in the world and just yell, we are. <laughs> and you're gonna hear something, you're gonna hear something. It might be off, off in the distance, but you're gonna hear something. I hope you all embrace this new attitude that we're gonna bring. We're going to follow in the Penn State way, follow in the traditions of Penn State basketball. Success with honor is our motto. We're we, will, we will recruit kids that are serious about their degrees, that love to play basketball, that will represent Penn State with integrity, and we'll be out in the community and work charities and do whatever we can to help the area. I'm fired up about the incoming te the team that's here now and the incoming freshmen. I've talked to them all on the phone. They're excited, I'm excited. I cannot wait to meet all of them and, and get going. Uh, summer, well, just meet with them summer session too. We're gonna play a style, one that I hope that you will enjoy and come out and support. We're gonna play up tempo. We're gonna push the ball. We wanna get layups. If we don't get layups, we're gonna shoot threes. We're gonna play with great confidence. We're gonna create great habits every single day to prepare us for the most difficult, env difficult environments in the Big Ten. On the other end, we're going to defend and we're going to rebound. We're going to be in stances. We're going to talk. We're going to dive. We're going to take charges. We're going to scrap for every inch to make sure that we compete on a daily basis. The goal is to be the best team that we can be by the end of the year. The best team that we can be. The foundation is here. The bricks have been laid. NIT championship, NCAA tournament berth. We need to continue on that path of consistency. Finally, I would ask all of you to get this Bryce Jordan Center rocking. We need support. These kids need support. They put so much time and effort into school, into weightlifting, into basketball. We would love for you to come out, not just the big games, for all the games, and get this place going. This team will come out and compete every night, and I, I look forward to meeting everybody. I look forward to your support. I'm happy to be here at Penn State. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, Thank you. Very good. Thank you Coach. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up for questions from the assembled media. Uh, if you have a question, please
please uh, raise your hand and one of our microphone stewards on either side will bring you a microphone. Please do not ask a question unless you have a microphone. This is a live event on the Big Ten Network, so we'd certainly like to hear your question. We'd also ask that you identify yourself and your affiliation when you do so. And we will begin tonight's or today's questioning with a couple questions from Facebook, Coach. <laughs> Facebook and Twitter. Social media. Social media. First question comes from Matt Clark from Philadelphia, and his question is, Coach, what is your number one pri priority as you step in as coach at Penn State? Well, I would have to say we, we, we have to recruit. We have, we have to go out and get the best players, the, the players that will compete day in and day out in the Big Ten. I think that's going to be our focus in this offseason and uh, really bringing in that uh, new attitude that I'm talking about, really embracing the attitude and changing the culture. Great. Second question comes from Daniel Greenstein in Arlington, Virginia. What plans do you have to connect with the huge student population to get them out to the Bryce Jordan Center? Well, I'm going to ask Coach Washington for her, her golf cart. That would probably be <laughs> number one. And uh, I'm going to drive around on the golf cart. I'm going to throw some T-shirts out there and uh, throw some attitude bands and, and whatever I can do. We're going, to get the, uh, the, we're going to go to the CAF and the dining hall and get on tables and do dorm storm. Wherever, what, whatever we're allowed to do, we're going to do. <laughs> We're going to be seen in this community uh, often. Got to keep us busy. <laughs> All right, we'll take questions from the media now. Please raise your hand, and we'll start in the back with uh, Sarah. Hi, Sarah Ecker from WTJ Sports. Um, I know the last week has been quite a whirlwind for you. Now that you're officially introduced, how can you possibly describe your emotions right now? You know, you know I feel great, to be honest with you. Uh, I feel like uh, it was game day, and um, you know, I was prepared. So when, when you're prepared, there's, there's really no stress. If you're ready to go and you have a clear head and, and you know the direction that you want to go with, with Penn State and with these two guys next to me and you have all their support, there's a sense of calm and a sense of confidence. And uh, I'm, just, I'm, ex I'm excited to be here, and I can't wait to hit the ground running tonight. Uh, Pat, Joe Giuliano, Philadelphia Joe, good Inquirer. To see you. Thank you. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Um, you've had a history of being able to recruit Baltimore, Washington, Philly, New York. Uh, it's been well documented about how tough it is to recruit East Coast players, I-95 corridor players up here. Uh, what are your plans to try to turn that trend around to getting those kids to come here? We have to tap into our relationships, the relationships that I've built all my life in Philadelphia and when I, when I was in high school and college and when I got to Villanova. We just have to go back to where people know you and people trust you. When people trust you, they're going to they're gonna send you their kids. And I think that's the most important thing. And we built, uh, some, uh, I built a lot of good relationships. You know, I had a lot of Philly kids or surrounding area come to Boston. So if we can do it to Boston, we could do it to Penn State. Patrick, Mark Brennan from FightOnState.com. Do you have commitments from the current players to return? How are things going to work out with the roster? And also with the recruits who signed, is everybody solid and still coming to Penn State? As of today, yes, it looks like everything is going well. I've had great conversations with everybody. Everybody seems very positive and upbeat and, and really looking forward to getting here for summer session two, and, and I'm excited to meet them, and, and that's what we're going to do this week. We're going to go out and, and meet families and meet players and shake some hands because and, and, I think sometimes with the social media, you miss that human element, and I think we need to get back to that. Uh, Pat, Ron Musselman from the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Um, uh, under Ed, they stopped playing Pitt because uh, Ed said he wanted to play non-conference games in more fertile recruiting areas. Will you be interested in renewing a series with Pitt because Jamie Dixon said he'd like to play you guys? I consider Jamie Dixon a friend, and uh, he runs an incredible program. Uh, I would definitely say it's something that we would look into to, to get a little rivalry going. Hi, Patrick. David Jones from the uh, Harrisburg Patriots. Hey, David. News. Good How to you see doing? You. Great. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Um, I was curious about that Indiana game. Uh, why did you come up here, and how old were you, and what are your memories? That's a, that's a landmark occasion among a lot of these people. You know, you know I, went, I came up to a lot of football games. There's no doubt about that. Um, I believe my sister was living up here, my sister Megan and uh, Michael. And uh, they invited me up uh, with my sister Lisa, and I came up, and uh, there was a basketball game. Uh, Penn State was playing Indiana. And, you know, I knew uh, a lot about Coach Parkhill. I was a basketball junkie, and uh, you know, Bobby Knight was on the other sideline, roaming like a tiger, and uh, it was an incredible game. And Penn State battled to the bitter end. It's, it's disappointing how that finished. But Rec Hall was uh, terrific, great environment. Any other questions from the media? I don't see any other hands. 
Go ahead. Nate Bauer from Blue White Illustrated. I'm just wondering, uh, you know, what type of concerns you had, if any, uh, taking this job. Um, did anything sort of present itself with Penn State's history um, as, as extra challenges that you might have to take on? You know, once I met with Tim and, and President Spanier, uh, I, I, you, per, the perception is out there that there's challenges. We have everything we need. We have everything we need. We have a great arena, great offices, great locker room. We have everything we need. We got to go out and recruit. We got to get it done. These guys are committed to winning, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to work hard and try to bring in the best talent we can. Any other questions? Okay. Appreciate everybody coming tonight. We have some ice cream and cake to your right over here. Please help yourself. Some coffee as well. Thank for you. The media Thanks here. for coming out. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.